So we are showing an interesting uh, RF amplification uh, setup. So right here we have these pretty cool RF wideband amplifiers <clears throat> from five to 6,000 megahertz. And these do uh, 20 dB gain. But to use them, you're gonna need a terminal connector soldered onto here. And that connects the ground and power um, to this custom power board. You can kind of power it however you choose to, um, but I'm gonna get a custom PCB made of this. But basically you have a terminal connector um, that's attached to a status light um, that's attached to this USB-C um, breakout board. And here I'll show you the soldering. Pretty basic, um, one wire is going from the ground uh, to one of the grounds on the USB-C breakout. <clears throat> and then vice versa with the power um, going to one pin on the terminal connector. And then I have the LED status light with a resistor. So then you power uh, that up and you have the RFN going to what would originally be the antenna on whatever module you're using. I'm using this hack RF and then the RF out um, goes to the antenna that you, you're going to be amplifying. So here, so here we're using uh, SDR++ to analyze and we're using Project Starbeam to control this hack RF. So we're going to test it out on 433 megahertz. And you can see the amplified signal. And then we just go back and stop that. There you go. So just a basic um, <clears throat> little example how you can use a DIY amplifier setup. Um, really easy and you could also use it with like these uh, NRF24s or CC1101s as well.